tough, tough to watch that. Um, they just kept coming wave after wave. I thought they were really, they were super in that second half. And um, I thought it was a super effort from our guys just to hang in there and keep them out. They, uh, they came in waves and, um, you know, the speed they ran onto the ball, it, it was just really hard for us to keep them off our, our, our advantage line. So once they started getting that momentum, they were even harder to contain. So, you know, it's a credit to our guys for hanging in there and it's probably a credit to the Wallabies because um, they, I, I thought they, they did a fantastic job of, of carrying incredibly well. Um, yeah, it's it's up there. I think they're a super team um, to be in their backyard and and to manage to, to, to sneak off with the with the Lansdowne Trophy is uh, is a little bit special for us, especially on the on the back of a a, a pretty long season. Um, and I think it's a credit to the players that they they dug in just well enough. I'm I'm pretty pleased there's not a game next week. I think that might have been a bridge too far. But um, I, I think the Wallabies are going the other direction. I think they've got fuel in the tank, and uh, you know, uh, I think they're building. Um, so I'm sure Chex is, is is pretty happy with some of what they're doing, particularly in that second half. Must feel um, particularly satisfying given you lost some key players in Melbourne and then Sean, you know, yesterday. Yeah, it just. It just unsettles the rhythm a bit going into a game where you're making late changes, but it, it has happened to us on a, a, on a few occasions, and I think it's, it's one of the, the things that's testament to, to depth in some positions that we have, that, that guys can step up and do a good job. And I, I thought Noel Scanhall came in and, and Rob Hearing came in. They were both very good in Melbourne as well, so um, you know they, they, they very quickly put their hands up and, and toiled away. So, uh, you know, uh, it's just part of uh, a process that we'd like to, to be able to streamline if we lose someone that, that someone else can step up and um, I th thought there was a few times toward the end of the game that, that we might have lost Johnny and, and it was going to be a, a, a very big debut for Ross, Ross Byrne. Uh, we've got lots of confidence that he is going to come through and it was probably disappointing for him. It, uh, he was on, on the very cusp of, of getting on a couple of times and um, I know he won't be disappointed because he's team orientated, but at the same time, you know, um, it, it would have been, uh, you know, nice for him to have got that cap uh, after having come away on tour. And you had a bit of a run with the Sydney traffic? Yeah, yeah it, it took uh, just over 13 minutes to get here yesterday and just over 30 um, today, so we were a little bit... But it's, it's happened uh, to us before, and I think we kind of got knocked off our stride and went down, um, I think 21-5 or something at, at half time uh, against Scotland uh, a couple of years ago. So it, it's, it's good for the team. I think there are always things that are gonna come at you from different sides, and, and sometimes that sort of thing happens, and, and you, you've gotta be able to take it in your stride. I think most teams have a real a rhythm and how they build to a game, and. When that gets disrupted, it can be a little bit of a dis distraction. But it's it's the first time in the series that we've actually scored the first points. So you know we, we got off to, to not too bad a start. Joey, you spoke a few times this tournament, this being a development towards other teams in the future as well as trying to win. How much do you got out of it in that regard, both with the Italian <coughs> players and the, the development? Um, there was, the, you know, there was a couple of guys who, who got another opportunity today. Um, I thought Todd Byrne came off the bench really well. Uh, I thought Jack Jack Conan did well. Uh, you know, when you've got Sean O'Brien and Josh Van der Fleer and Reese Ruddock, uh, those guys are loose forwards back in in Ireland. It's uh, it, it's presented a real opportunity for for guys like Jack, especially with Dan Levy being injured. So, you know, I, I, th I, th I think it's great when guys put their hand up because it keeps the pressure on other guys, and at the same time, they grow a little bit because they understand what it's going to take and and. Uh, there was no better um, kind of match to go into where you had to understand how tough it was going to be. Jack, can you um, <coughs> talk through your own emotions from a player's perspective? Yeah, I suppose um, the special day um, for coming into it, knowing that it's my 50th cap and, and being able to start for it is, is a huge thing. But uh, for me, it was, it was team orientated and it was just. Um, Sort of job focused. It could have the emotion could have taken over, and sometimes when you've too much emotion, you can uh, sort of lose the head a little bit. So it was just 
for us is it's it's um, next sort of moment focus and and probably um, we got into the game pretty early and and it gave us a lot of confidence and um, we kind of rolled from there I suppose just shows the mentality of the squad now um, <clears throat> the last 20 minutes we were under the caution guys dug in and and um, it just it shows the belief and there was a lot of young guys out there and um, it just shows that. When there's guys, um, when there's senior guys not around, and, and the young guys are able to step up and 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 prove that they should be out there and, and get us over the line, it's just it, it brings such confidence. Been through some amazing moments in the last eighteen months. Here, the levels in that pressure must be really, really high coming out of the season. Yeah, yeah. Um, looking forward to a bit of a break now. Um, but yeah, no, it's 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 brilliant. It's. Um, I suppose it just raises the bar for next season and and. Um, yeah, we'll just kind of we'll we'll relax for maybe a couple of weeks, and uh, I'll see Joe in in August. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a bit of time off, Jake. Late July. <laughs> <laughs> How much of a marker is it though coming to the Southern Hemisphere and taking you series? Yeah, it, it's pretty big for us because we, we don't do that very often, and and um, you know, 39 years ago. I, I did have a good chat to uh, to a couple of the guys who did it last time, um, and uh, you know Ollie Campbell's a guy I got huge respect for. I think he's a he's a class character, a, a real gentleman as well as a, a class player in his in his time, and um, you know we had, we had a bit of a chat about it. He uh, you know he's such a, an enthusiast. His confidence was brimming that that we could do it. Um, I didn't quite share the confidence at the time because I knew how tough it was going to be, and and that was evident in those in those final minutes. Not just not just tonight, but but last weekend as well. You know that, that uh, they were coming in waves, and, and we managed to keep them out then as well. So uh, you know, I, I feel that potentially we're a little bit fortuitous, and 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 the margins are so fine. I, I didn't think we were far off in Brisbane either. You know, like that's that it's been a fantastic series. Um, Certainly, not too many of the crowd left. Some of them tried to get a bit closer than they should have, um, but uh, not too many of them left. And and it was, you know, it, it's it's great for players. They they uh, they enjoy celebrating those with uh, with the crowd who who you know were very animated, whether it was for one team or the other. Michael Chapman talked about some of the things not quite going their way, and that's you know in, a, in matches like this, you actually also need. I guess he's referring to the rubber the green. How did you see that? Um, yeah, I, you know, I thought there was. There's always a few a few bounces of the ball that, that don't go your way, and, and some that do go your way. I, I felt that you know there was a couple of couple of things that probably didn't go our way as well. Um, you know, I guess it's all about perspective. <coughs> I know Sir Alex Ferguson says you can have a fantastic preparation, but you still need a bit of luck, and um, I wouldn't certainly wouldn't put. The degree of effort from the players down to luck tonight, but um, you know when that last pass goes awry, if it didn't, they, they might have scored that, and um, you know that's that's how fine the margin was. Joe, what do you make of the, the aerial battle? I mean, you'd almost ruined the um, the All Blacks France series, um, and it's had a big impact on this as well. I mean, have they got it right, the referees? Is it? Is it? Yeah, and I, they've got to look after players, um, and I, I think uh, I think the rescinded red card on Benjamin Fall um, was was not due to the actual battle in the air. It was the battle on the ground, and and he got knocked slightly by one of the All Blacks. So, it, you know, most people, and uh, uh, I think is Ralph Allows is is freakishly good at it. Most people use a three step jump. Um, they're going up and they get their rhythm into the jump with three steps and so if you get knocked off balance uh, that can affect things um, but once a, once a player is up and he's lifted uh, you know if, if you do grab him um, whether you win the ball or not it's, you're running the risk and uh, you know I think Izzy is a, a, a phenomenal player and uh, I'd have huge respect for him I know Peter's pretty sore and, and, and those things happen sometimes, um, which, which is disappointing. It's, it's the same with the, the yellow card on Jacob Stockdale. He was kind of, just kind of spun in the tackle with Nick Phipps was on him very quickly and, and uh, there's no way that, 
that forearm's intentional, but you run the risk if it's elevated at all. So uh, that, that's the that's the nature of the game these days. And uh, I know the reason is is well founded because we want player safety as, as best we can get it. Um, but at the same time, you know we've got to keep that competitive element as much as we as we can. But I, <laughs> Didn't look to me outside there tonight as if it wasn't a real competitive element. I, th I thought there was there was real competition in 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 every facet of the game.